The 74th Golden Globes started out with a malfunction. Uh, welcome to the Golden Globes. Uh, already the teleprompter's down, so this is a great way to start the show. I Tonight show host Jimmy Fallon delivered his opening monologue, at first without a teleprompter. And the Golden Globe goes to... La La Land. La La Land, the romantic musical about a struggling actress and a jazz pianist, swept the Globes, winning all seven categories in which it was nominated. My lady was raising our daughter, pregnant with our second, and uh, trying to help her brother fight his battle with cancer. If she hadn't have taken all that on so that I could uh, have this experience, um, it would surely be someone else up here other than me today. So, The film's leads, Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, both took home their first Golden Globe, winning acting awards for their role in a comedy or musical. To any creative person who's had a door slammed in their face, either metaphorically or, or physically, or actors who have had their auditions cut off or have waited for a callback that didn't come, I share this with you. My name is Elizabeth. And long live Queen Elizabeth. The Crown, a drama about Queen Elizabeth II, was another big hit. The Netflix series took home the award for best TV drama. I have an 11-year-old son whose birthday it is today. Thank you for letting me be here. Claire Foy, who plays Queen Elizabeth II, won her first Golden Globe as Best Actress. I'm going to thank them. Uh, one of them is Queen Elizabeth II. Um, she has been at the centre of the world uh, for the past 63 years, and um, I think the world could do with a few more women at the centre of it, if you ask me. Curry? Are you kidding? It's like a very deep curry. That is not, that's like Atlanta, a series from FX about two cousins in the Atlanta rap scene, took home Best TV Musical or Comedy Series. Well, my dad used to tell me every day, like, you can do anything you want. And I remember thinking, like, as a kid in first grade, like, you're lying to me. <laughs> but now I do stuff, and he's like, I didn't think that was possible, so... The creator, who plays one of the main characters, Donald Glover, won Best Actor in a TV Comedy or Musical. One memorable moment came from Meryl Streep, who won the Lifetime Achievement Award. Streep used her acceptance speech to criticize President-elect Donald Trump's treatment of the press, especially towards a disabled reporter last year. And this instinct to humiliate when it's modeled by someone in the public platform, by someone powerful, it filters down into everybody's life because it kind of gives permission for other people to do the same thing. Other winners include Moonlight, which took home Best Picture for a Drama. Elle, a French film about a rape victim, won two Globes. Viola Davis won her first Golden Globe for a supporting role in Fences. And to the original Troy, my father, Dan Davis, born in 1936, groomed horses, had a fifth grade education, didn't know how to read until he was 15. But you know what? He had a story and it deserved to be told, and August Wilson told it. Thank you very much.